I'm here and today I have a Cinema 4D tutorial and the tutorial is going to be about how to make a bull's eye thingy with spikes around it which I used in two intros and the last one which one which was this one which I really liked you can see you have this bull's eye thingy -ish that spins around and you have these spikes around and some glowing hair and some blue in hair and yeah so Maybe a two-part tutorial, we'll see, but I'm just gonna show you this like this uh, Circle here, not uh, how to animate it and uh, I'm gonna show you the spikes also But not these white hair because Yeah, it takes too much time and once you once I've learned you how to do these black ones You probably will understand how to do these white ones, so Let's get right into it. I have a Cinema 40 here. So first off, you wanna add a um, tube. Take the tube and put it to minus. Let's see, like there, plus Z. Then you take this and drag it all the way in. So you have in the radius zero, out the radius 200, rotation segments set that to 100. Or 50, let's say 50, yeah. Um, the height is how thick it is, so you can set that to maybe something like 45. Yeah, that looks nice. Add some fillet and just put it to 1 and 1. On. Yeah, that. Then. If you can see, when you render, it look it looks a bit like it's going outwards, like a sphere. And to fix that, you delete this phong tag. And as you can see, now you have this flat, flat, um, flat circle, which we're working with. So cap segments, put that also to fifty. Uh, no, let's say 5 maybe. So we have 1, 2, three, one, two, three. Yeah, put it to 5, the cap segments. And yeah, now let's go on to making the bullseye. Or maybe we'll show add the spikes first. So to add the spikes, take a cone and take it. Mm, I can no plus x. Take it on the plus x axis. Drag it here and then go to the top view. Zoom in a bit. Then you're gonna align it so that it's bit in to the sphere if you know uh, into the tube if you understand as you can see here's the tube going and here's the cone going and then on the cone change the bottom radius so that it's a bit thinner than the, uh, the tube and change the height to something around 65 centimeters We'll see how that looks like. It's a bit big, so change it to maybe 50. Then pull it, push it in to the tube, and there you have it. Now go into MoGraph, cloner object, drag the cute cone into the cloner object, and on the cloner object, change it to radial. And whoops, didn't mean to do that. And then change. Oh, yeah. You gotta change the axis here to plus y. Sorry about that, guys. And then you can basically have as many as you want. We're gonna change, we're gonna change the height a little more. 
a little less actually. 40. Let's see if that's good. And you just change the radius so that they are inside of the tube. And there you have your spikes around. Go into Clubner object and you can add as many as you want. Probably gonna add 15. That looks nice. And again, change the height to maybe 30 because you don't want like really high spikes because that doesn't look that nice. So, yeah, that looks nice. So now you go into the tube, press C on your keyboard or go here and click this. Then click here and then go on to structure selection. Sorry go on to loop selection then you click this hold shift and click this hold shift and click this no you don't sorry guys you click this and this while holding shift so you select both of them then go into structure go into extrude and extrude it by minus five centimeters as you can see then these two parts went in to the tube if you know uh, understand and then while you have these two selected you're gonna add some color I'm just gonna use maybe a green color as you can see there then select go back to your loop selection and then you select these three circles and you're just gonna add whichever color you want but I'm gonna go with a white this shiny white so yeah and then you're gonna add that shiny white to the cloner also and I'm gonna change the lighting and stuff afterwards so yeah now that you have this you are going to get the this live selection tool over here change the radius to 1 then you are going to select the middle parts these three like that extrude them with five centimeters out not minus but just five centimeters and then you can see you get these things going out and while you have these selected add a black to them and now you're going to select go on to the top here go back to live selection and you're going to select the um, the top parts also and just to cover the whole thing with black so it doesn't look that bad select this side also while holding shift under and under here also it's a bit tricky but you know what I you get you get a really nice result so guess you just have to live with it so yeah now we have selected this just drag the black onto one of the sides like that zoom out then you have your start of your bullseye thingy. Now you're going to go here onto the bottom and do the exact same thing. So I'm just going to speed this up. Alright, so now that you have the under part also made black, you are going to take the sides and do the exact same thing here also. And here you are just going to select two because it just looks better. So, yeah, take your extrude again, extrude them by five. Un Make sure you 
haven't selected this and just to keep things clear and organize we're gonna add a camera and change all the org uh, <laughs> coordinates to zero so you get a nice view of the uh, tube then add the then select the middle part again and yeah extrude them now and just gonna go out of camera view here go to live selection again and just select all the sides basically mm. I'm just gonna speed speed this up because you don't want to watch this it's really boring so I'll be right back guys alright so I'm back guys and as you can see you have a really nice bullseye thingy look here and just wait a second here it's really nice it looks really nice and now we're gonna add the circles that are in here that one goes up and one goes down here to do that you're gonna add a circle um, circle um, path if you can call it that just drag it a bit out add another circle uh, spline it's called change the radius to 2 then you're gonna add the sweep nerves and drag both the circles into the sweep nerves and yeah there you have your first circle around there as you can see you're gonna add a glowing uh, material to that so you're gonna go add no color luminance add a really really light blue like that then go on to glow change the inner strength to 80 and the outer strength to 50 and the radius to 7 then drag it on to the sweep nerves then you're gonna get a really nice glow as you can see a really nice glowing line like neon almost then copy the sweep nerves control or command C and uh, then go into the circle the first circle change the radius to so that it fits inside um, the green part there then go into the sweep nerves and change the start growth to 50% so you get a half circle then copy or sweep nerves again then change the radius so that it fits into the second green circle like that go into the sweep nerves change the start growth to 100% and um, no change the start growth to 0% and the uh, end growth to 50% like that then you have these really nice glowing uh, thing is in here and now we're gonna add some lighting and stuff so I'm gonna add uh, lights pro no I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna add an AGR HDRI sky and overhead softbox and two softboxes from the Grayskull Gorilla Light Kit so yeah this looks really messy so we're just gonna delete the AGR we don't need it actually so delete you only need two softboxes so rotate the softboxes 
so that they are facing the text like that and it's kind of hard to maneuver these things so go into softbox move softbox control I think rotation and add 90 and then go into this first rotate it down like uh, down like that then go here and add minus 90 degrees so you have these two soft boxes facing uh, each other drag them a bit out so they are out of the camera make sure you select like that change the render settings go on here add ambient occlusion change the maximum ray length to 75 the contrast to 10 percent add global illumination IRC plus IR plus QMC still image diffuse depth 2 gamma 1.8 it's a bit long uh, tutorial but I hope you can bear with me and let's render and see what we have we are going to take the overhead softbox and add it move it a bit down like that and let's see what we have now We should get some nice reflections and whatnot. So, yeah, and I'll be right back when this rendered finish. All right, so I'm back, guys, and here you can see this is our final product. It's really nice. It's it looks really nice, glowing lines and all that good stuff. So yeah, this has just been a little tutorial on how to make this bullseye kind of thing. You can do whatever you want with it, you can animate it, yeah, basically do whatever you want. So yeah, I hope you liked this tutorial, and this has been Streamline Heroes, peace.